Beloved Masters, are you ready to expand your vision beyond your private little world or microcosmic reality? Are you ready and willing to accept the truth that you affect everyone and everything in this universe, to one degree or another, and that everyone on Earth and in every other realm also affects you? You are a microcosm or a miniature universe within the macrocosm which contains the totality of the omniversal experience. You have been described as a cell within the heart-slash-mind of the Supreme Creator and this is a valid description. As the Supreme Creator radiates more and more of the elixir of life throughout the Omniverse, it is affecting all creation. You cannot hide from it. You cannot deny it. Your lifeline to your source is growing stronger and more persuasive all the time. The magnetization factor is growing stronger and you are magnetizing to you in stronger and stronger measures that which you have claimed as your reality. If you believe that you must live in poverty and chaos, that will be reinforced and magnified in your life. If you have accepted the truth that you are entitled to a life of beauty, joy and prosperity, that reality will unfold before you, if you follow through and take the proper steps as outlined in past messages. It is as if your lifeline is being tugged and pulled in different directions as spirit tries to get your attention you can resist and hold back, kicking and screaming, but you will eventually move forward on the spiral of evolution. There will be no denying the evolutionary cycle that is now in full swing. The soul self is nudging and prodding everyone, to one degree or another, in an effort to get each soul's attention. No one can maintain the status quo, coasting and drifting and ignoring the call to awaken. You must either grow and ascend in consciousness, or sink deeper into chaos and limitation, postponing the inevitable. We have often stated you are destined to return to a perfected state, so why not enjoy the journey? You can readily see where in the world the resistance is strongest. There is a very powerful thought form that has been building over the past 50 or so years. It is a thought form of annihilation, a desire within the minds of many souls to destroy all those who do not conform to certain cultural or religious teachings and rules. It is as if the last vestiges of the third-slash-fourth dimensional dogmatic views are rising to the service to be transmuted. It is a fight to the death for many and it is based on fear. Fear of not being right. Fear of the unknown. Fear of change and fear of losing control. Unfortunately, those who have these beliefs will draw to them those things they fear most. In the areas of the world where this is taking place it is a microcosmic event. It is as if the areas of conflict are being isolated and cut off from the rest of the world and beyond so that the surrounding countries slash territories will not be contaminated. We would have you know that we are using some of the beautiful unconditional love slash light you, the light warriors, have been sending forth to place protective shields around areas where peace is the predominant thought form, so that the contamination does not spread. As you expand your consciousness and begin to use your sacred mind or macro mind, your reality will change very quickly. This is what we have been explaining to you over these past few years as we endeavor to assist you in perfecting the alpha mastery techniques. The micro mind is your beta consciousness whereas your alpha master mind is your macro mind consciousness which helps your subconscious mind to become conscious as all the old subjective, negative programming from the past is released and transmuted, and the conscious mind becomes receptive to the downloading of cosmic information from the higher realms of knowledge. Macro awareness is experienced through the sacred mind and sacred heart centers. The three lower chakra energies are filtered through and overlighted by the sacred heart as they are gradually unified and work in harmony with the higher chakra system. The sacred macro mind is a unified combination of the left and right brain hemispheres and has the potential of accessing the higher levels of information stored within the light packets of wisdom located at the back of the brain, from the medulla oblongata, where the ascension chakra center begins, to the crown. The secret, beloveds, is to stay centered within the sacred heart as you expand your consciousness and your radiance grows into greater and greater concentric circles of light around you, thereby expanding your sphere of influence. Staying centered in the heart is one of the most important rules in the process of reconnecting with your twin flame, or accessing the sacred love of unity consciousness. Learning the infinity breath technique is also an integral part of the process. You see, as you practice the breath of infinity, the in-breath begins within your sacred heart center and it moves up back through the pranic tube, in front of your spinal column, 
and exits at the medulla oblongata at the back of the brain, curving over your head and entering at your sacred heart center once more. Allow this energy to find its own path. Whether it moves in and out at the breastbone, the high heart, or the solar plexus center, makes no difference, wherever it wishes to enter and exit is appropriate for you. Your breath knows the path to take, all you have to do is focus on the exit and entry points as you breathe in and out. After entering the body at the sacred heart center, the out breath moves down the pranic tube, again, inside the body, in front of the spinal column, and exits through the root chakra, the perineum, the small area between the anus and the sexual organs. The breath continues its path in front of the body and enters once more at your sacred heart center. Many of you have been faithfully practicing this technique for some time now, and are ready for the next step. You see, allowing the breath to exit at the medulla oblongata has facilitated the activation of the ascension chakra at the base of the skull, thereby initiating the process of opening the higher dimensional levels of the brain, which give access to the higher frequency levels of consciousness. Most of you who are reading these messages are ready for the next step, and many of you have already completed the process of opening the portal way at the back of the heart. This is the portal that gives you access to the celestial cities of light, and if you have been visiting the city of light in the higher dimensions in your area, via your pyramid of light in the fifth dimension, your portal way at the back of the heart is already open and functioning. When you first incarnated on planet Earth and gradually assumed a physical vessel, your column of light was as wide as your crown, the halo over the head symbolizes this crown of light that connects with your higher self, and all the way back to our mother slash father God and the Supreme Creator. This vibrant, life-giving energy radiated from the front and the back of your heart chakra out into the world around you. Over time, after sinking into the density of the third slash fourth dimensional environment, and experiencing so much heartache, most of you gradually built an etheric shield of protection over the heart, thereby diminishing the flow of love slash light to and from you. There was an etheric membrane of light placed over the back portal of the heart which was to remain intact until humanity was ready to begin the ascent back into the realms of light. That time is now. To speed up the process of fully activating and opening this portal, we will now make a small change in the infinity breath technique. However, it is important that you practice the first technique, as outlined above, for a time until it is comfortable and familiar to you, and can be done with ease and no conscious effort. When you can do this, you will know that the process is encoded within and will take place with no conscious effort. At that time, you may begin the second part of this process. There is only one minor, but very important, change, instead of the in-breath coming out at the base of the skull, or the medulla oblongata, envision it coming out at the back of the sacred heart, or the portal at the back of your inner temple of the heart. The breath will still sweep up and over the head and re-enter the body at the same place in front of the body, and continue down on the out-breath as it sweeps out through the root chakra and makes its entrance in front of the body on the in-breath. After you perfect this technique, beloveds, make a concerted effort to practice this technique several times a day, even if it is only a half dozen or so breaths. This will speed up the process and facilitate a greater infusion of Divine Creator Light. We have stated before, and will stress again, knowledge slash wisdom overlaid with love slash compassion and focused intent slash action creates the power that holds the keys to the universal storehouse of unmanifest potential, potential just waiting for you to mold it and create anything you can envision. Imagine that the infinity breath you ingest into your system is filled with trillions of tiny diamond subatomic particles of love slash light, and the energy activator is love. So the formula is simple, focus your intention on what you wish to create, fill yourself with the elixir of life and permeate it with the pure love drawn forth from your sacred heart. Beloveds, this is a magical formula that cannot fail. Our Father slash Mother God, the Elohim, and the Archangels have created living pyramids of light within every level of creation so that you can access the building blocks of life. These life-giving forms give you access to the frequencies of light which are necessary components of transformation so that you, as human beings, can return to an exalted state of consciousness, your divine state. 
We have instructed you to go into your pyramid of light slash power in the fifth dimension and to clearly state your intentions and specifically outline what it is you desire to create. State that you ask this be aligned with your highest good, and for the greatest good of all. Now, during your waking hours follow the outline above using the infinity breath technique as you envision a stream from the cosmic stream of life flowing down through your double terminated crystal into your pyramid of light filling it with divine light substance, activating and igniting your vision. As you practice the infinity breath technique, you will begin what could be termed a trickle-down effect whereby the energy will gradually flow from your pyramid and into your sphere of consciousness, opening the way, inspiring, guiding and directing you as you firmly, with confidence, proceed to create your vision and bring it to fruition. The same applies for the higher frequency energies from the cities of light. Once you make the connection, it begins this trickle-down process whereby a constant stream of just the right magnitude and frequency patterns flows into your pyramid of light and down your column of light to you. Envision an etheric replica of yourself lying on your crystal table. It will remain there when you are focused on your physical body, and you will merge with it when you visit your pyramid and lie on the crystal table. Each time you merge with that facet of yourself in the fifth dimension, you will absorb more of the refined frequencies of light that have been integrated into your etheric replica during your absence. You see, beloveds, we are doing everything possible to assist you in this dramatic transformation process, but you must do your share in order for it to succeed. Dearest hearts, great changes are in the wind, and we will give you guidance in many ways in order that you may integrate the advanced wisdom that is so critical for your expansion into a macro mind awareness. Do not be discouraged, but do be diligent. Your efforts will be greatly rewarded. Know that we are ever near to guide and assist you. You are loved beyond measure. I am Archangel Michael.